Is it all about <clears throat> innocence? Is Enoch uh, just looking for innocence? No, I mean, the way I understand innocence, I mean, it's... We might just as easily be called the guilty project. I mean, to me, innocence projects are like public inquiries. We're trying to find out the truth of a claim of innocence. We know that people who maintain innocence may be innocent. So we do an investigation into their case, but we want to find out what the truth is. And in our investigations, we often find out that people who are claiming to be innocent are not innocent, and we communicate that to them. In fact, <clears throat> over the last five, almost six years that we've been operating the Innocence Network UK, we have communicated to more people that they are guilty and why they are guilty than we found people to be likely to be innocent. Um, in fact, we've, cre we've constructed something to help us in our eligibility of cases. We get about 15 inquiries each week from people who are asking us for assistance by one of our member innocence projects. And we ha we've devised this kind of method for trying to sift out cases that may be innocent from those which are clearly not innocent. And we call that the typology of claims of innocence. It came about because we asked a very, very simple question. We asked the people who were writing to us to give us as much information as they can about their claim of innocence. So what we're wanting is their narrative of innocence. And we were finding out very, very quickly and very, very easily that they aren't, aren't innocent. People don't understand joint enterprise crime. They say, I went on an attempted robbery with my friend. He was the one who shot, stabbed or pushed somebody and killed them. I didn't touch anybody. I'm factually innocent. I never laid a finger on anybody. But we have to say to them, if you voluntarily went on that crime, if you knowingly knew that your pal, Sean or John, had a knife, had a gun, was violent, and you knew that could have happened, you are legally culpable and you're not innocent as far as we see it. We work on cases of people who say, I wasn't there at all, it wasn't me. Some people have a disagreement with the legal system. People write into us and say, I had consensual sex with a girl who's 15. I'm innocent. Why are you innocent? I'm innocent because in my country, the age of consent is 13. Your legal system's wrong. So they can't even imagine themselves to be guilty of committing any crime because in their jurisdiction, that's normal behaviour. But in our jurisdiction, according to our moral code, that's a criminal offence. We don't help those people either. And we communicate, as I said, to more people that they're guilty than they may be innocent. And, you know, out of... 750 people who've actually asked us for assistance, we've only got 175, 180 cases which we've deemed to be eligible, i.e. people who may be innocent. And just to kind of, I suppose, to kind of put a cap on your question, if we do an investigation and we find out that someone is factually guilty of the crime that they've been convicted of, we don't see that as a waste of time because we've shown that the legal system has worked that the family of the victim, who had doubts about whether or not justice had been done, justice has been done. This person committed this crime. So we find that is a really useful thing to do. But, you know, we are trying to also find evidence of innocence to unearth those cases, you know, to help those people.